this was my latest exercise I've changed over my solar panel controller now the one that I had had the main battery which or rather the habitation battery which charged up and it worked remarkably well I'm well pleased with it and then after that you've got this stupid auxiliary th thing on that's supposed to turn on a light never quite sure what the idea of that was because I don't want any lights on I just want to save the power but anyway came along and uh, saw a new one and the new one where the light is to the right there on the panel um, it's got a second battery so you charge your first battery first of all and then after that your second battery charges much more efficient and I've just jury rigged it at the moment and I'll show you it in a second right Here's the new controller. It's exactly the same really. There's not a lot of difference. Um, I'll try and open the door so you can get a bit more a bit more light. There we go. Oh, that's not might not help it because a lot of sun coming in. But if you can uh, you can see that it's saying it's flashing on battery one and battery two, which is showing uh, that both batteries are now charged. And uh, you've got an indicator there like a uh, green flashing, it's full. Green steady, it's normal, and yellow steady, low, and red steady, you've got uh, near empty. So you've got that as a guide. But as you can see, both batteries, the um, habitation battery, which is battery number one, and the second battery on the right there, which is the engine battery. Now, I haven't wired this in yet. So what I've done is I've jury rigged it, as you can see there. I've just jury rigged it, and that goes down to the cigarette lighter on the dash at the moment which is always live on this it doesn't go off with the ignition so it was an ideal way of doing it just to make sure that things were working obviously I'm going to get losses through there um, and I'm not going to keep it like that I'm going to wire it I've got um, some corrugated conduit and that's going to be used to wire from the back down through the battery section underneath the vehicle and then up into the front so uh, that, as far as I'm concerned, is a, is a good uh, is a good buy. It didn't cost any more, and the holes were exactly the same, so it was literally a straight changeover. Now, the benefit of this, of course, is that during the winter, when I've got the uh, uh, the solar cell, is still sort of trickle charging it. But whereas before, when the other one was charged, you uh, charged, then that was it. It didn't do anything. It was like dumping the the voltage from the solar panel. With this one, it says, OK, Mr. Habitation Battery, you're charged. Now I'll charge the engine battery. So it gives the engine battery a dose. Now, if you're wild camping, that can be a big bonus because you might have the radio on or something like that or whatever. And batteries don't last forever. But if you're topping it up like this all the time, so when the Habitation Battery is charged, it automatically starts charging the vehicle battery. That's got to be a bonus. It's not costing you anything more. The charger was about, I can't remember, it was about 14 quid. Um, that's all it was. And I know people are going on about MPPs and God knows what else, but I've never had any problem with the PWM system uh, that uh, I had before. It does the job, um, and it might be a little bit more lossy or whatever, but who cares? You know, as you can see on there, I've got 14 volts. Uh, this is the last part of the charge that's going in. It gives it a little boost before it shuts off. So there you go.